All right, guys, welcome back. This video is not going to be in no type of order, okay? Now, this video is mainly about, I think most people, it's not, it's not financial advice, by the way. I do think most people that's going to make money in a market, I think most people are going to make more money, <laughs> possibly lose money. It, it goes both ways. But I think more people are going to be more wealthier if the time is right for them, if they go in at the right time in the crypto market. <clears throat> because I've been in both. I was in crypto at first. And then, like I said, I went into the stock market and I really got into the stock market and I see how it works. I see how think things are kind of it kind of feel like it's manipulated and all these other things. But anyway, you can still make money in the stock market. But I think more people are going to will come out wealthier if they time it right and and become um, millionaires. It may be people that become millionaires if they know what to invest in and at the right time. OK. And you may hear people say, well, you can't spend crypto. You can't buy anything with Bitcoin. You can't you can't do none of this. Right. So. There are platforms out there like Robinhood, um, Crypto.com, Coinbase. They have apps, okay? And within these apps, they have their Visa debit cards. Now, some people will go online and they go to certain websites that will allow you to buy gift cards in the form of crypto. So you will go... You will use your crypto to purchase these gift cards that have money on them. And then you can use those gift cards to buy your items. Like, I don't know, just for example, like say you want to buy something from Lowe's or Home Depot or Walmart. Um, some people just take the crypto and they go into these certain websites that will, that you can purchase these um, it, like electronic gift cards or something. And then they go make these purchases. But for me, the easiest way I found out that will work is within these apps, they have their own debit cards. And for some of you that don't believe that you can spend your crypto, if you buy crypto online in these apps and you make some money or you just want to spend it, you just go back on the app, you sell it and you move it over to your debit card. Now, for example, Here's Robinhood. Robinhood that has crypto. If you make money off your Robinhood crypto, you can move it over to this account, to your account that's on Robinhood. And you can go swipe and buy anything you want because it's a debit. It's a MasterCard. This is a MasterCard one. And you can buy things that accept MasterCard. Or you can go to a bank machine and withdraw money. So <clears throat> next is Coinbase. Coinbase is a visa. You can purchase anything with a visa. Like I said, go to Coinbase, you sell your crypto, you move it over to the card and you can buy stuff. Next, crypto.com. is my crypto.com card. You can um, buy stuff. You can sell your crypto and then move it over to your card and you can buy things. So no one can tell me no one can tell me that you can't buy things with crypto because there's way to buy it. There's ways. As long as they have these, you can buy it. So that question is done. <laughs> that comment is done. Um, but let's go ahead and go to, hold on guys. So like I said earlier, there's one crypto that I'm, I'm really concentrating on. Okay. And no one can persuade me to not in, not to invest in it. It's because I have my reasons why I chose this one. And um, no one can tell me that it's a crappy coin. It's a crappy crypto because of this, because of that. Anything that's, I feel like anything that's under Bitcoin, that's below Bitcoin, below um, XRP, below um, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, 
Ethereum Classic, Litecoin, anything below that, those, you can consider them crappy coins for whatever reason. And, but within those crappy coins, as long as they're still listed on an exchange, you can make money off of it. You can sell it, you can buy it, you can make profit, you can scalp it, whatever. So for me, a crappy coin do not exist if I, if I decide to purchase it, okay? It's solely for making money. I don't care if it's a crappy coin. You're going to hear people make comments about these coins are crappy. Don't don't go into those. Uh, some people call them shit coins. Don't go on those shit coins. You know, you got to make your own decision up and you need to learn how the market works because people will say things to, to push you away. For either they push you away to benefit. For them to benefit on. Or they will guide you and guide many people in those directions to grab a certain thing. And while you're grabbing it, that person is going to be selling it because they're going to be making a profit. So and that happens in the stock market. That happens in the crypto market. But this is the main one that I'm focused on, okay? Because I've seen in the past what this has ran up to. Um, I think my time's about to run out. I've seen what this has ran up to. I've seen um, I've seen it fall, but I know the previous high, just like I know the previous high for Bitcoin. Okay, so this this is my reason why I'm in it. It can be a crappy coin. I don't care. But anyway, if you look down below, down here, this is how many coins I have. Over a million coins. I may I may put more in it. I'm, I don't know because the price is still low. Look up here. Here's the price of per coin right there. Okay. And as you can see on the three months period, it's, it's already up. It's up a lot. Let's go to a six month history. See what it's doing. Loading, loading, loading. Okay. And it's up. Let's go to a one day It's down on the eight hour. It's up on a one day. It's up on a week. It's up. Okay. So, it's at the point to where let's go to all time high all time high was over here and then it was at that incident that happened and it fell off so as you can see the high over here was ninety dollars fifty dollars a hundred dollars at one point um but you can go down here and see keep up um, pay attention to the ranking the ranking is at 54 right now and it's slowly um moving up the charts I'll watch you later um the all-time high was 119, okay, for Luna Classic. So, you know, you want to keep that in mind. But let's go over here also. You can look at a couple other things. I'll go to the um, crypto bubble, bubble chart. Let me move this down. And on the month, you can see Luna Classic right down over there. And if we move it over to the week, see what the bubble does. It's getting bigger. And on a day, you see it's even bigger on a day. In an hour, in an hour where it's shrunk down. Shiba Inu is trying to push up right now. So this is another way you can keep an eye on what you're, you know, what the market is doing. Now, if you click on this bubble here, this chart going to come up. If you ever want to find out how much, this is a good way to find out how much, um, how much it costs. How much is it going to cost you for so many coins? Here's the chart up here. Okay. Here's the uh, cost for the coin. <clears throat> for one coin right now is 000000195. Okay. So if I go up here and I change this, say I want to buy, I just want to buy a million coins. Whoa, whoa. Go back. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Okay, so a million coins right now it has increased to one hundred and ninety-five dollars. Okay, that's for a million coins. Now, if you want a thousand coins, it's going to cost you measly nineteen dollars. If you want to, um, oh, well, it's ten thousand. Um, here's a thousand coins right here. This is what it's going to cost you over there. Okay, so just keep this in mind. These coins are very, very cheap right now. I'm not saying for you to go buy it, but 
for me, it's a no brainer. Um, I'm taking a gamble, like all stocks and all cryptos a gamble, but who knows? But I do know one thing. I do know what the previous high was, and right now it's down. And right now, the uh, um, Luna Classic is still on the market to buy. So it's like a no-brainer. It's like it hasn't got delisted, um, <clears throat> like some other items got delisted. Now, uh -oh, my, my battery's about to die. So we're going to keep an eye on that. Um, let's go ahead and look over here. This cryptocurrency, see what... See what's happening over here. Let's. I'm gonna click on Bitcoin because I want to change. Bitcoin's at 90. Okay, so if I go over, let's see what's moving up. Doge is trying to move up, but it, it sold off. Just let, yeah, it sold off, just like I expected to. Um, I'm gonna hit show all, and I'm I'm going to open this and change the percentage, and I want it to go from top to bottom. Right now, Shiba Inu is running for whatever reason. It had it had a major run up right here, which this is really not a lot, but it ran up 8%, 10%, and now it's falling back down. So Shiba Inu is, is like outperforming a lot of things at the moment, okay? Um, let me go back over to over here. Let me log back in, open. I'm gonna log back in guys but yeah so i just wanted to bring that up bring that to you guys attention i do think more people are going to make money in the crypto market and i think more millionaires or billionaires is going to be made in the crypto market okay now i think later later on a lot of these coins are going to disappear and there's only going to be a few or certain coins left to trade legally like to that's going to be there. Like you already know, Bitcoin is going to be there. You already know, um, Ethereum is going to be there, and some other coins. So keep that in mind. Um, if you go to the crypto market cap and look at all the coins, there's there's like thousands and thousands and thousands of coins. Okay, and these coins are being made because people want to make money. So the 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 designer of those coins, they just there to make money, and sometimes they do a rug pull. So you got to be cautious of that. But there's only going to be a few. I think after all these rules and stuff come into play, there's only going to be a few left. And then um, I do think that I do think the U.S. dollar is not going to go anywhere after hearing that it's going to disappear and all this nonsense. I don't think it's going to go nowhere, honestly. I think the U.S. dollar is still going to stay there. I think um, alongside the U.S. dollar, I think there's going to be a digital dollar that may be made to use alongside the regular dollar, okay? The fiat dollar. Uh, but as far as the paper dollars disappearing, I don't think that will ever go away. Ever, ever, ever go away, okay? It's always gonna be, I think, probably two sides of the coin. There's gonna be paper and then crypto, okay? Um, or the country's own crypto type of currency. Um, but. I've changed my mind over the years because I used to think that because I've heard it so many times. So I was kind of programmed to think that, oh, the U.S. dollar is going to disappear. And once I started sitting down thinking about it, I'm like, there's no way, no way, no way, no way. OK. Um, and I think that's more of a fair tactic to try to get people to steer away. OK, guys, so I don't know what happened. <laughs> the video just stopped. But anyway, um, I don't know what I was saying last, but the video was cut off. But I'm going to go ahead and close this video out. Go ahead and put your guys' um, comment down in the bottom. What's your opinion? Tell me what you think. Um, but like I said, I do think more people are going to make... I think there's going to be more money made in the crypto market and more wealthier people are going to be making more money in, in the crypto market. If it's time right... Um, but it could be made in the stock market too. Okay. This is just solely my opinion. Um, I'm not no financial advisor. Okay. Now I'm only holding a million over a million coins. I may increase it soon. It just depends. Okay. I'm, I'm waiting on another dip.
another dip. I think there's going to be a big dip coming before I start rising up again. But I always use Bitcoin as a guide to see what the market is doing. Okay. But that's it, guys. Leave a comment. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Peace.